Hello, you're back with Kathy, the Artie Mummy, and my 365 days of art. And we're on to day 30, and our prompt today is to decorate the flowers. So what I've done here is, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do to begin with. So I started with a, a pale yellow colour, just a bit darker than the one that I had there to begin with. And just... As you can see I started to go one way and then to change my mind and decided to go with something like a marigold which has lots and lots of petals they're yellow and orange usually orange tips on a yellow flower loads and loads of petals and um, they're just really quite pretty happy little flower that grows really easily around here so I've just done that by starting in the middle and making sort of semi-circular shapes and making those go around and around until I work my way to the outer edge of the flower and then I'm building on that in layers going darker with each layer until I get the depth of colour that I want and what that does is it builds up the the depth in the flower to give it that dimensional look so remembering also that the paint dries lighter or paler than it goes on with the watercolour so to finish it off you want to get some nice bright colours on there and um, not quite covering up the layer beneath as you go so that you get building of that depth in there the second one I did a fairly similar process only because I knew what I was doing with this one I was a bit more definite about it and started with slightly darker colours and it ended up with a slightly different effect as a result and I apologise for the traffic um, at the back of the house where I usually sit to do my recording of my voiceover is filled with sleeping people at the moment so I'm in the front of the house where we can hear the traffic and the third flower I did a, a pretty similar thing with that too so that they were all matching nice pretty marigolds the little blue flowers I decided might look pretty as a daisy type of flower just with nice simple petals coming around in the shape of the, the outline that we're given and they ended up being a little bit pale on the overall so I went over them again and then I thought I'd add some foliage to them so that was a nice fun little bit. You get that foliage, that leaf shape with your round brush by just using the tip and pressing it down so that the base then goes onto the paper and you get that nice leaf shape just by pressing the brush down onto its side. And then I just grabbed a little bit of lighter green and popped that into some of the darker green wet on wet to create some difference in tonal values on the leaves so I'm doing that there now I'm afraid you can't see it very well because of the lighting but um, yeah, popping just a little bit of light green onto parts of those leaves and I thought the flower the blue flowers were just a little bit too I don't know cartoony so I went over them with a dark blue and then dropped some white in to give them a into the petals to give them a more painterly look. Not sure how happy I am with the end result of those, but they turned out okay I guess. And so that's it. I just went along with um with the dark blue and the white um watercolour paint and just finished off each of those little blue flowers to make them all the same. Once I've done that to the first one you've got to do it to the rest. And I thought the whole thing turned out fairly pretty. What do you think? If you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe, leave me a comment and I would love to hear from you and see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.